Okay, uh, one of the other databases that I want you to take a look at, and it's a hit or miss database, is the Springer link. And you'll find that on the database listings under S. Uh, Springer link can be a very useful database system to go for. Uh, it'll have some things that other database systems um, like EBSCOhost or ScienceDirect won't have. Uh, at the same time, it is somewhat limited in the scope of um, social sciences. It's much heavier in the actual sciences than the non-social sciences, life sciences, hard sciences, mathematics, uh, things like economics and business. It's going to be uh, extremely useful for those, especially if you're looking for something like education. So if you're trying to link something like education in crime or uh, management philosophies and reduction in crime, uh, then you definitely want to look at something like Springer Link. So is it keeping on the same thing of capital punishment, I'll take a look here at Springer Link. And fortunately, we can take a look. We can narrow this down quite a bit. So what I want to do first off is we're only going to stick to English. We're going to stick to the social sciences. Uh, and then we're going to stick only to articles. So what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of narrowing it down here on the content type on the side as to what the relevance is. Now, you can see that each one of them will say article, uh, and then you kind of have to come through here and take a look and see if these things are, are of use to you. Uh, again, by I would just use tabs if possible. I would just open them up in new tabs. That way you don't lose the list. Okay, so let's just say Desert Justice and Capital Punishment was an article we were looking for. It fits in our 10 year time frame. So 2008 falls in our 2017 to 2007 time frame. Uh, Criminal Law and Philosophy is a journal. Um, and we can see the author's affiliations. We can read the abstract. There it is, nice and pretty for us. Uh, we can also tell how many times this article has been downloaded and how many times this article has been cited by other authors. Um, so what does this mean? Well, it means if this article is of use to you based on the abstract, then you're going to want to download the PDF up here. Now, I'm just in the habit of doing this. And it's probably going to save it that as the file name, although I may be wrong. Uh, we, we've copied the file name. Yeah, and it did. It saved it as this really funky file name. So far, Taylor and Francis is the only one that have, hasn't done this to us. And so what I'm going to do is say desert justice and capital punishment dot PDF. We'll save that. That way I can come back and read the article uh, and focus really on finding files right now. Okay. The second thing is I want to export this citation. Again, we want the citation files and we want them in the RIS format. Uh, the other ones would be okay, but really RIS seems to work across the board and I, I think you'll find it, the fewest problems with this one. So we'll export the RIS format and it saves it as a really funky name, uh, 10 dot something, 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 something. We're just gonna rename that the same thing we did to the other one. Now again, I haven't shown you why this is important yet, but trust me, you're going to love the fact that you're saving these citation files along the way. And I'll just throw that into research methods downloads. So I've got citation file, citation file, citation file, citation file. Excellent. We're doing really good there. So when it comes to Springer Link, if you're doing anything like business management or you're looking at the way um, maybe private companies have uh, like sort of private prisons. Um, you want to really take a look at Springer Link. If it comes down to true on social theory or criminal justice theory or criminology, uh, then, then you, you know, this probably isn't going to be the best place for you. Um, the, it, there's only so many areas that this, this particular database covers and it doesn't cover them all. Uh, but you'll find some things in here, so don't forget Springer Link as uh, a way to go about and find additional articles. And uh, again, it's just another tool in your set of options for you to go find these 10 to 20 articles that I'm asking you to find. Uh, 10 for the annotated bibliography, 20 for the final lit review. Uh, and if you go on to graduate school or law school, you're just going to know how to do this already. You're going to be that much further ahead than everybody else. Okay, so this is Springer Link. Um, that's how you save a document and that's how you grab a citation file. Um, 
in order to just narrow these down, you'll just click on the subject matter. Like if I just want to limit it to criminal justice, I can just click on that and it'll filter that down. Um, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, the problem with this is, of course, just making sure that you've got the right subject matter in that uh, Springer Link will hold. I hope you found this video helpful. I know it was much shorter than the others, but there's not a lot to Springer Link. But I think you'll find it useful as maybe a secondary or tertiary or level three type of search. Um, okay, so uh, again, I hope you.